Hey Auras, it's time for another unboxing and welcome to the I Done Messed Up and it is um, commentary edition. So we're unboxing uh, Labyrinth of Refrain, Coven of Dusk. It's an older game and I have been super excited because the next one comes out next year. So I saw it. I saw the new one coming out and then I was like, well, there's another one. Let me check it out. And then I was like, okay. So my roommate was like, play the demo. And then we were absolutely obsessed. And that was pretty much history. I needed to buy it and I'm super excited to open it. And I didn't want to refilm this because I wanted you guys to see my actual reaction of what was going on. And I realize I never have a trash can. I just always throw it on the floor. Ooh, look at the box. It's beautiful. The little chibi art is on the side. So cute. Me trying to figure out how to open said box. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. Yay, look at the little... See? See, they actually cared about their box. Ooh. So we have the game! There's almost nothing ever fancy in the game cases. It's always what's in the actual collector's edition. But you never know. Sometimes they surprise you with fancy art. But... It doesn't look like it. Oh, a preview for Disgaea 6. So long ago. Oh, fancy art. Oh, interchangeable art. I never switch it. I don't know why. I think it's because I just keep the collector's edition boxes on my shelf. So, like, I don't really care about switching it out to something fancy. Unless it's a steel case, then the steel case is available and... I will put other stuff out. Ooh, so what is the, all this random stuff? Sleeve cover for the soundtrack. Ooh, I started with the pins! Yeah, so these are the, the main characters. It's the chibi pins of the main characters in the game, so they're pretty adorable. And then we have the soundtrack. Which is a really long sound. You can even see it on the back of the soundtrack. Just look at all the, the songs. Oh, the songs. Oh, the music. The music's actually really good in the game, so I'm for it. For all the soundtracks. Ooh, look at it. Look at Luca. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> I just threw everything. <laughs> I forgot that happened. That's actually great. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't uh, delete this one because, I mean, that's just hilarity. All right. So it's a two disc CD set, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it just fell out. So. Ooh, lasso music. I ixnade the pins. And then this is actually a um, metal book. Uh, placement holder. Oh my god, what are they called? I don't even remember what they're called. Bookmark. Ah, ah. Placement holder. Wow. Well, I mean, close enough. But it was really cute that it had, like, the symbols and everything. And it's actually metal. So that's pretty, pretty awesome. And I think I was stating that I was like, what would I need this for? The, the Tacti? Tacti? Which is what the game calls. It has a very much more fancy name, but 
in the game they call the book tacti. It's I think it's like Tacturum de Monstros or something. <laughs> something something much larger than Tacti, but Luca renames the book Tacti, so I can't remember. Oh yeah, it didn't smell. It was one of the few books that like didn't reek of ink, which was kind of great because Yay, table of contents. So that is your main character, Auntie Dronia, Luca, who is the best bae. Which I think she's the main character of the next game coming out next year. One of the other characters. More characters in the dolls. I think we've started getting into the dolls. Yeah, the Aster Knights. Which are basically the, the forefront people with javelins. They don't have to be in the front. The theater stars, which they use bells to attack. Well, really, anyone can use anything, but the Pia Fortress, which is your shield people. The, the marginal maze, which are your wizards. Wizards! For the most part, they hit with lamps. Yeah! Are, are ninjas slash the real swordies because <laughs> they can double double wield swords so yeah the mad raptor they're actually one of my favorite classes they get this awesome skill where it can hit a monster 15 times demon reaper which i still haven't come in contact with yet but i'm only halfway through the game so the gothic it's a kitty girl. Well, actually, I'm sorry. Uh, excuse me. It's a kitty person. Oh, and the monsters. The game art's beautiful. If you guys get a chance, make sure you uh, try the demo. It's on the Switch and the PlayStation, I believe. Uh, the demo is pretty, pretty fun. All the locations. But I really, I really, really like the game. It's really funny. The game is just like that crud humor that you just don't really expect. But it's just so funny that it's just like, oh my god, did that just happen? It did. It did actually just happen. Yay, illustrations! These are always my favorite parts of the art book to see just the different covers and I think the only thing that made me sad is um, I bought this and it didn't come with the tarot cards. Uh, like it was supposed to. So eventually, uh, maybe one day, I'll get the tarot cards separately. But right now, people are selling it for a ridiculous price on eBay. So I'll get them at one point. Yeah, just uh, make sure you guys try the demo. Let me know. Comment below and tell me how you feel about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I will see you next time.